Okay, I'm super excited because it's part four of birthing a new earth. And guess where I am? I made it! The Struga, the lighthouse. And by the way, there's Angela. She's a real person. <laughs> Yay! And Marley. And we're here, oh my gosh, and we're trying to like sneak in because we're not allowed to like, really go in. Um, so we're gonna go around the side. So uh, we want to get those clouds. I want to show you this amazing sunset and talk to you about the power of collaboration. Okay, so I'm back and we're gonna talk about why collaboration is one of the three key pieces in this new age of co-creation that we must have intact and in a new way. The light has arrived. <laughs> I thought for a little bit that it was going to be the case that I was not ever going to make it to the lighthouse. Can you see? I don't know if we want to look at it the whole time. <laughs> but I thought maybe I wasn't going to make it to the lighthouse, you know? like that the metaphor was that the light is always within me, so I don't need to go to the actual place. But I ended up here today, and I ended up here today not through my own doing, really. Um, so I want to tell you about that. But I kind of feel like um, I want to bring you around here because now I'm just looking at my face again. <laughs> Let's watch the sunset. So I'm going to lean on this rock and you can watch the sunset. All right, let's get snuggled in here. All right, so <laughs> this is the weirdest video I've ever made, but that's cool. Um, so <laughs> no, no, this is complicated. All right, um, let's see here. All right, so that's beautiful. Collaboration, the story of today, literally is my last full day on this island, and I spent the entire morning in an olive oil field. So this is, um, this is what my work transitioned into, was me basically working on these olive oil fields with my host family, which led me to have a spiritual experience, which I'm not going to talk about, because that's not the point of this. Um, but I do want to talk about today, and how, so there was this woman who's on the island, and she had a car accident and lost her arm, and she has these olive oil fields, and my host family went there to go help um, with the fields because she also lost her husband too. And so I went around along and they actually asked me to go and to do some healing, which I thought was super interesting. But mostly I picked up olive oil, olives, I mean, <laughs> to make olive oil from the dirt. And it was really moving. I feel really touched and really heart open because <sighs> community, when it's intact, and when it's loving and caring for one another, that's what we do, right? We show up for each other. We show up in times of distress and we share resources and we actually, what ends up happening is we make magic together. This is the power of collaboration, which, you know, I was uh, an art maker for over a decade in New York City and my MFA, I studied collaboration and you know, but prior to that I studied psychology and sociology because I was really um, just kind of uh, inter not, it's more than interested, I was kind of obsessed with people and like why they do the things that they do um, and how they behave, like both like what's going on in here and also like how they behave, you know, together in groups and so then also, you know, like in um, practicing the energy healing and, and the, you know, the healing work uh, that I do a lot of it is facilitating groups and there's something really powerful that happens when we come into community together. It's basically like, you know, people bring up our shit because <laughs> the whole world's a mirror. Um, but being in relationship is a really strong one and so people tend to bring up everything that we love about the world and aka um, ourselves. and also like what we really don't like about ourselves and it's so powerful to really be in community together and to be in these spaces you know so many people have been on their healing paths and have been on their spiritual paths and it's so 
kind of incredible when people who are along those paths come together and can engage in this work together. And I've been part of a lot of communities where, you know, that's been the idea and the ideal, um, but it hasn't really worked. Um, and so that's to me what I think is really fascinating about this time and about it's not and like why I think a lot of intentional communities don't necessarily work is because of this piece this missing piece which is called collaboration so collaboration is really um, it's an intentional act to create something in a shared vision together and there's many different ways to collaborate and you know I been thinking about it's about a decade ago? No, it's more than that. But anyway, I was in New York and I was training with this uh, theater company called City Company and they do this work called The Viewpoints. And basically in The Viewpoints you break apart time and space into all these different um, elements and then you can pull them apart and rearrange them. And when everyone kind of speaks the same language of these different elements in time and space, you get together and you do these improvisations and what you create is like so surprising and so um, satisfying because you're putting things together in ways that like have never really been thought of before but it's because you're breaking things apart uh, and and collaborating in a way with like this shared expanded sense of basically like what the universe is and so for me you know like any art I've ever made was collaborative because it just you're able to create connections. And by the way, any art that's ever created is always collaborative because you don't just like create art in a bubble. You know, even like a painter has a muse, even if it's a tree or a person or whatever, you know, like everything is collaborative, just like we're always um, creating, co-creating this whole place. Look at this light. <laughs> we're co-creating this because so many people right now are like, you know, really doing this light work. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Um, but anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, collaboration, like, is basically, you know, like, when people come together in this way, are able to, like, create all these sparks and connections that never before could have been imagined, right? And so life can be one giant collaboration, and that's what I kind of turn my life into, is art life. <laughs> and today, case in point, with all this light and this house, this lighthouse, <laughs> which is right there and also within and all over the place, is that I kind of let go of it, even getting here. You know, it was this is the whole <laughs> this lighthouse, and I'm like, yeah, it's the whole reason I came here. And I gave it up, and I gave myself up to service, and I gave myself up to being present with the people that I've come to really love here, and. Um, and really cherish the way they spend time together in community and in family and in serving one another and helping one another and being present with the environment and the land and with each other and I just thought like that's the most important thing that I could do is you know really be present in all of that and so that is what I did and lo and behold we were working all day with the olive trees and then I got invited for lunch amazing calamari squid that came from right there <laughs> fresh onto the plate and then Angela was like should we go somewhere I said yeah it's my last day let's go somewhere we only have an hour till sunset and then we get in the car I said where are we going she said to Struga to the lighthouse which just turned on it just turned on it just flashed as I said that for the first time that is a freaking miracle the whole thing's a miracle so I made it here I never knew how I was gonna make it here because I didn't have a car and I didn't like tried to get here and it failed and all that stuff and this is what I mean when we're so collaboration is with people but it's not just with people right if we're collaborating with our quantum beingness grounded and embodied into the earth and into our very selves and then we bring that together in relationship then we are co-creating 
from a whole new place. So collaboration brings together steps one and two, which is the environmental empathy and the interconnected co-creation. And then step number two, which is unleashing our inherent creativity, which is our light of enlightenment, our inner wisdom that is like burning to come forth. And then we really bring that all together and we come into a relationship and we consciously decide what it is we are going to co-create together and then we commit to that and we do that it is so freaking powerful so this is how I live my life and this is like what I want to do and I want to do it I mean I'm doing it all the time and so it just occurred to me like I know there's some of you out there that also like want to experience this new way of living and have an active hand and an active heart even more importantly in this world that we are creating and really birthing this new earth together so if you're one of those people please email me magic at lobsterroot.com i'm doing this co-creation project and we're actually gonna make something together um I can't tell you what it is. I know you're probably like, what? Well, we're gonna make art. I'm also like purifying what art is because it's gonna be something that benefits the world and it's going to have an outcome. That's as much as I can tell you because we're gonna be co-creating it together. So I can't tell you or else I'd be creating it. We're gonna co-create it together and it's gonna involve an element that can be in person um, so we will like do a kind of pilgrimage together and make this thing happen um, and it can be done virtually so if this is exciting to you as it is to me I mean I just feel like I'm bringing together like all of like my life experience and even more than that but the world that I can see <laughs> behind me like this this can you imagine living this all the time Right? And from this, all of like our food comes, all of our like relationships emerge, all of everything just like comes from this field of glorious light with open hearts in the space together. And then we have this world where like, you know, people get to eat um, well and healthy with one another you know here's one other thing i'll just say as i was listening to this podcast called the happiness lab uh, and it's this doctor and researcher from i think it's harvard or yale um and she taught this class but anyway the point i want to make is that there was these um tests done on people on trains and it was like well, would you rather like or on buses or something it was like would you rather spend that time in solitude alone or would you rather like have be in conversation like with a stranger on it and like almost everyone said like i'd rather be alone and then they put them through this thing and they, and they actually like had them interact with a stranger and then like most of the people at, tested afterwards said that that was a much more pleasurable experience was being with another person connecting with another human even a stranger um, and most people did not actually think that that's what they wanted to do and I admit I do this too and then here's the crazy part is that then the guy brought this research to a train company and so theoretically like you know they would foster spaces I don't know for people to you know communicate and then they came back and they said so actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a silent car and the researcher was like that's the total opposite of the research people actually said that they love being with other people and they were like yeah but actually actually most people are saying they don't want to and he's like I know but they don't know what they want and then he was like I mean have you ever tried that have you ever made like a communal car and they said, yeah, you know, well, we used to, it was like a bar car, you know, and so people could go and they could like hang out and like get a coffee or a drink or whatever. And he was like, yeah, and how was that? And they said, well, it was too popular actually, so we had to close it down. <laughs> we're meant to be together. We're meant, we're not meant to be isolated um, and alone and not working together. We need to come together and work together to co-create a new earth. Like that is part of it. And as much resistance as we have to doing that, we need to work through that because that is the only way it's actually going to happen. <sighs> so let's do it. If you want to do it with me I would love to talk to you thank you to those of you who have emailed me already I'm gonna get back to you super soon 
I'm going to have an application process because I'm really, um, you know, putting together this group, this initial group is really important, like who's in it, and then it's all like functioning in a way that's, that's beneficial to everyone. So I will be sending that out soon. I'm excited. We're going to co-create something magical together because that's what happens is that, you know, it gets so easy. Like it was so easy for me to get here and enjoy all this. I didn't even have to do anything. And that's what our lives can be like. And that applies to every area of your life. Like you're, yeah. Uh, it's making me laugh. Oh. Okay, and see, when you collaborate, like, I don't even need to know anything. Angela's like, it's time to go, it's time to end the video. And I'm like, great, let's go. This was amazing, I love you. Email me at magiclobsterroad.com saying bye to Struga, we made it. Who knows where we'll end up next? Okay, love you, bye.